Our passage today is found in Mark chapter 4, verse 21 to 25. Jesus teaches his disciples by using a metaphor about a lamp. Let's read. And he said to them, Is a lamp brought in and put under a basket or under a bed, and not on a stand? For nothing is hidden except to be made manifest, nor is anything secret except to come to light. If anyone has ears to hear, let him hear. And he said to them, Pay attention to what you hear. With what you measure, it will be measured to you, and still more will be added to you. For to the one who has, more will be given, and from the one who has not, even what he has will be taken away. In this passage, Jesus teaches his disciples about a new kingdom, the kingdom of God. It's a kingdom of light. It's not a kingdom of this world, which is a kingdom of darkness. He uses a lamp and he says the light shines through the darkness. We don't buy a lamp and hide its light. We place it on a stand so that we can benefit from the light. The light exposes many things that are in the darkness. His light will reveal the sin in our lives and the things that don't bring glory and honor to His name. When we hear Him and listen and repent from our ways, He has promised to make us children of His kingdom. The more we hear and the more we listen, he has said that He will give us more understanding. And He emphasizes this, He repeats it again, and He says, if you hear and listen, you will gain more understanding of His kingdom. Jesus is light, and light cannot be hidden. If we love Him, His light will shine through us, and people will see through our words and our actions that we are different, that we are children of His kingdom. But there is a warning here. Jesus warns us that if we choose not to listen, if we choose not to hear, this understanding will be removed. He will take that away. And the things of the kingdom will not make sense. As you reflect on this passage today, ask yourself the following questions. Do I recognize that there's another kingdom, a kingdom of light, a kingdom of God, belonging to God? Have I allowed Jesus to transform my life, that His light would shine through, that others can see Him in me? And do I pay close attention to what I hear as I read His Word, as I listen to Him? May God bless you, enjoy your day, and may you know His presence in your life. Amen.